This weekend, people who love pets have a fun opportunity. Salt Lake County Animal Services is hosting what they call Pet A Palooza. It's a fun event where you can not only adopt and rescue a pet, but you can also bring your own pup for a host of exciting animal friendly activities. Joining us to share more of what you can do and find is Calista Pearson from Salt Lake County Animal Services. Calista, good to see you again. It's good seeing you. I feel like it's been a minute since we've had it, you in studio. It's been a while, and last year we weren't able to do Petapalooza because of the pandemic. So this year we're doing it again, but we're doing it on site there at the shelter, and we're fencing off the entire front parking lot, and we're going to have adoptable pets like Merida available for adoption. So this is Merida and I'm assuming Merida is a guinea pig. And Merida is a guinea pig, mm -hmm. and sh her adoption fee is only $5, and there's lots That's more it? guinea pigs. Yeah. And That's way cheaper than at the pet store. Yeah, and we have rabbits, and we have cats, and kittens, and dogs, and other shelters will be there, or in rescues with their adoptable cats and dogs. But it isn't just something for adopting a pet. Oh, okay, go on. Tell okay. me more. Here I'll tell you more. <laughs> um, so there's going to be a pet psychic which you can bring your Wait, pet down. What do you mean a pet psychic? She is able to read your dog and their emotions and maybe mm -hmm. something that might be bothering them so they can talk to you or you can just find out a little bit more about their personality. Kind of I like had a dog whisperer or something yeah, like that. Yeah, she okay. she's fascinating. She, you know, she she's read my own dogs and gave me some greater insight in like working with them and what my one dog was hung up on so so she'll translate me. for you so yeah. kind of like if your dog wants you to feed it more you're exactly. like okay well i can do that now i'm reading here something about a pet tattoo what's that uh yeah so pet smart is there and they have this pet friendly um, paint that's kind of chalk based and mm -hmm. they can spray paint little tattoos onto your dog or your child if your child so wishes or yourself uh -huh. um, so they're really fun to have for the day and they're very colorful so and you and your pet can have matching tattoos ex at Petapalooza exactly um, <laughs> and then we also have an agility run where you can bring your dog to run through and let them try out agility for the first time okay so you can do some fun activities get some exercise we're seeing a little bit of that here uh, awesome it looks like it's gonna be a fun time for everybody it will be a fun time and you know it's just one of those fun events where you go out and you can take your pet and you don't have to worry about you know there is no fee to come we're just telling people the parking's on the other side of the street so it'll be a little bit different and there will be a food truck and coffee and what's not better than coffee first thing in the morning too so right help you wake up exactly. make sure you're charged ready to go hopefully adopt a pet or two while you're there do you have any particular goal for how many pets you'd like to adopt? Um, I would love to clear out our cattery. You know, we have probably about 60 to 70 available cats and kittens available for adoption. Mm -hmm. And it is pick your price uh, cat adoption fees. So you can adopt a cat or a kitten for as little as a dollar. And they are spayed, neutered, vaccinated, and microchipped. It's like you look at a cat, you're like, you know what? I will give you a dollar for that cat. I'll give you $500 million for mm -hmm. that cat. And, and you, it, it works. Exactly. Well, most people usually give more than a dollar because it's, that and probably less than five hundred million dollars. Less than five hundred million probably. dollars. If that was the case, I, I could build me a brand new <laughs> building, and that would be awesome. There you go. Okay, how big of a need is it right now to adopt some of these pets? Uh, there's a big need to adopt those pets. You know, the, the shelters are busy. They're mm -hmm. filling up, and same with the rescues because there's a lot of people post-pandemic that have been abandoning their pets. So. We would love to find them all new homes so that they don't have to spend their time in a shelter. It's much more pl pleasant to be in a house. You bet it is. Of course, if you want to come out to the Petapalooza, where do they go? Um, they go to 511 West, 3900 South in Salt Lake City. And if they're interested in finding out more information, they can check out our website at adoptutahpets.org. Of course, we'll have that link on our website, abc4.com. Talking this morning with Calista Pearson, of course. And remind me the guinea pig's name? Merida. Merida. Yeah. Who's very well behaved this morning. She's been very good. <laughs> she, is, she probably deserves a little strawberry. She does. She loves the strawberries. Mm-hmm. Kudos to having you both on here yeah, this morning. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Calista. Of course, we have more news to get to here this morning. I mean, it's, a, it's adorable to see those guinea pigs eat. The time right now is 640. Coming